The three times table. In this short video, we'll go through some tricks to help you remember the three times tables, and I'll show you visually using a box full of cubes. So, three times table. As the name suggests, we're talking about three times. So, I would put my hand three times in the box and get one cube each time, so I'll end up with three cubes. So, one the first time, another one the second time, and another one on the third time, so I have three cubes. Then, if I do three times the same thing, so I'll put my hand inside and get two cubes each time, I'll end up with six. Three lots of three, so that's three and three and three, that makes nine. Three lots of four, so four and four and four makes twelve. Three lots of five, or three times five, equals fifteen. Three times six equals eighteen. Three times seven equals twenty-one. Three times eight equals twenty-four. 3 times 9 equals 27, 3 times 10 equals 30, 3 times 11 equals 33, 3 times 12 equals 36. So to work out 3 times 8, which is 24, I could go 8 and 8 and 8. So 8 and 8 is 16 and another 8 is 24. And to do, for example, 3 times 12, there are different ways I could do this. I could do 12 and 12 and 12. So 12 and 12, 24, another 12 is 36. Or I could do three lots of 10, which is 30, and three lots of 2, which is 6. So that makes 36. Another thing to remember is that 3 times 5 is the same as 5 times 3. So putting my hand in three times and getting 5 each time, 5 and 5 and 5 makes 15. It's the same as putting in my hand 5 times and getting 3 each time. So that would give us 15 again. So order is not really important. If you want to work out 3 times 6, it's the same as 6 times 3. So whichever is easy for you to work out, that's what you can do. And the answer would be the same. So looking at a pattern now, we've got 3 times 1 is 3, so from 3 to 6 and then 9 and 12, what we're doing is we add in 3 each time. And that is the case throughout, because we are looking at the 3 times table. So if you know that 3 times 5 is 15, to get 3 times 6, just add another 3. And that gives us 18. What I suggest that you do is that you write these facts on a piece of paper or a post-it and read them out loud again and again till you've remembered them in order.